Hey guys, so this is a review for the uh, NECA Terminator 2. This is like the Sarah and John Connor 2 pack. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure about it. I think this was like a... Well, it came in Target, but like I think there was like another version that was like an exclusive. I think like one that came with John of the Bite. Um, so this is a cover and I love the cover, but the more I look at it, like, um, I don't quite understand some stuff. I'm trying to figure out who this is. Like, I'm kind of leaning towards this, like, John from the future or something. <clears throat> and then down here at the bottom, you can see, like, kind of the, I guess it's supposed to be Arnold, but they kind of darken the face. You don't see anything here. And I'm like, well, they've got the likeness for the, the guys, you know, Arnold, Torsten, and Robert Patrick for those. Um, I mean, regardless from far off, it looks awesome. Um, so I open it up. Um, so I didn't buy this new, and I'm starting to wonder if, like, um, this is open. Well, I can tell now that this is, it doesn't have the strings on it or tie things or whatever. Um, John oddly has it though, so I'm not sure what may have happened here. I mean, it looks like it's got everything with it. Um, so, um, yeah. And on the side, we get a picture, just a movie picture of John Connor. Um, I forgot the guy's name, the actor's name. On the back, we got some pictures of, you know, cool poses you can do. And now on the side, we got a picture of Sarah from the movie. Um, so basically, I'm going to open it up and show y'all what's inside. Alrighty, so I got everything out of the package. Um, there's a lot of accessories here too. Um, my allegations or whatever <laughs> were correct. This had been open before. Um, for some reason, she was taken out, but he wasn't. Um, so I actually bought this at a store called the case. Um, but yeah, he said like the little blasted strings on and everything like that. Um, so start off with him. Face sculpt looks pretty good. Um, he doesn't have any, like, alternate hands or head sculpts or anything like Sarah does. Um, the jacket has, like, a kind of soft plastic look to it. So, I don't remember being camouflaged. I don't know. I've watched the movie a million times. It's one of my favorite movies of all time, but, yeah, I don't know. Um, let's see. It's very, very tight. Um, looks like it is double... I don't know. Let's see. Now it's like a, kind of like Casey Jones is, where it's like a swivel here too, like below the elbow, but I can't quite get to go. That's something I have to work on, but definitely has some good articulation. <clears throat> definitely has like a, kind of an elbow thing or shoulder thing going over here, so it kind of blocks off his arm from one much higher. Um, single jointed knees. Does it have like a, you can kind of swivel it at the hip, but it doesn't do a whole lot. <clears throat> and then you can kind of swivel this too. Um, there's not an ankle pivot, which is kind of weird. It just kind of spins within there. So I don't know. I mean, overall I'm really happy with it, but I know it was kind of like a newer figure. I think this came out two years ago. So, there's that. And then it was Sarah Connor. Um, so, I like the arms. Like, she had like this kind of scrawny, but muscled look to her. Like, very low body fat, but still has some muscle on her. So, like, you kind of get that effect with her arms. Like, they're very, you know, cut and defined. <clears throat> I like that they did a good job with that. Um, she does have just single joint elbows, so like that's actually about as far as her elbow goes. I'm gonna check the other one too, but yeah. I mean, you don't need a whole lot, but um, yeah. And this jacket thing, it does stay on, so it's, well, I guess you could cut it out if you wanted to, but I like the tactical gear, but I think she wore it most of the time. Um, she does have like a little pouch here for a knife, which is 
this one right here, and I like how they put the little task on there too. That was really cool. Um, what was the saying? No fate, but what we make for ourselves. So, yeah, that goes in there real good. Um, pretty much just tactical pants. Um, that swivel in the hip. Mine's kind of tight, just loosen it up. Swivel a little bit in the knee. And she has some ankle pivot, but it's not much. So that's as far as it goes back. And yeah, that's about as far as it goes either way. <clears throat> um, I like the add of this on here, but it wasn't like my favorite look for. I think I'm gonna switch out some heads too and just kind of see what I think. Um, so with the, uh, speaking of the head sculpts, so there's two. So there's this one here, which is kind of, I don't know, this kind of reminds me of when she was in the uh, mental institution. Um, did a good job with the hair. has like layers to it. I'm kind of curious why there's like silver in here, like almost like gray. I don't know if the paint just is rubbing off or what, but um, did pretty good with the face. Like the eyes look a little bulged out or something. I don't know. Um, ponytail does move. I'm not sure if it's supposed to move. Like it looks like it's like pinned in there. So, oops. Um, the other one is just the hair out. And still got that same look in the eyes. Like it just, I don't know. It doesn't quite look right. I'm not sure how to really pin that. I don't know, like on the, I'm looking at like with my eyes and looking at the camera and the camera looks better than in person. So, um, this hair is movable, but it's kind of stiff too. So, um, she comes with a handgun, which is pretty good looking. Um, and then she has AK-47. It's like the strap on it too, and it's real movable, so she got on her back pretty good. And then she has a shotgun, which this, oh, that's cool. This part actually comes out. So it's like a, what you call stock. And it pins in there, so it looks like it's, every time you move it, it just kind of falls out a little bit, but. Ooh, I see what's going on here. That's kind of neat. So there's like a pin back here. I don't know if you can see that. Like right there. And when you bring this back, there's a hole there. And when you pop it in there, it holds the gun back. So like it just don't fall back. That's pretty cool. I like that touch. So there's that. Um, and then you get the uh, the old arm from Terminator One, the one that was reaching out to Sarah. So that's pretty cool. Um, it is in there, and this capsule doesn't just like pop off, right? Whoa, yeah, it does. Um, yeah, it looks like it's pretty much in there. It's pretty cool looking. I don't know if it was supposed to be glued or anything, but it's back on there just fine. So, yeah. And then John has his book bag. So, these are pretty movable. So, this one's back. And then he's got the um, hacking device. I'm not sure exactly what you call it. Um, so like he used in the beginning when he was getting money for the arcade and then he used it later on to try to hack into like the um, Cybernet systems. And he even has like the little ATM card there. So that's a nice touch. Um, and then like the um, power supply, I guess. I don't know. Um, this screen is, doesn't move or anything like that. But this is like a kind of a wiry feel to it. Um, so... I guess first thing I'm going to do is just try to put his jacket on him. Or bit bag, I'm sorry. I'm always worried about these two because I'm afraid I'm going to like pop the part off or something. So let's see, let's try to do it this way. Put the arms back. So yeah, it goes on pretty good. 
I like to add these two, like they just, you know, where the straps are coming out. Like that's pretty cool. But yeah, it goes on really good. Um, not sure how we would be holding this. I like how it just kind of is set where it's been up. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where to put it. It's just kind of like a nice touch. Um, maybe in his hand? I don't know. I'm trying to think. Because his hands are just kind of like regular gripping hands. They don't have a lot of movement to them. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, you can put a gun in his hand. Which I don't remember him ever holding a gun. I actually know that. Well, maybe. It looks oversized though, because that stock right there is, or the handle on the gun is really thick. So it looks a little oversized in his hand. So, I may just not do that, I don't know. Um, Sarah Connor, I'm gonna switch out some heads, so let's see how those look. How does that? I'll get behind the camera. Yeah, let's try the ponytail first. This is a weird ball joint. Like, it's not like a ball at the end. Like, it doesn't look bad or anything, but it's just like kind of like a straight pin or something. I don't know. Try with other heads real quick. So yeah, so this is her with the uh, ponytail look. So there's that. Uh, let's see, now do this one. It's like a really long neck. I think overall this is the head I like the best. Um, I'm kind of thinking like a girl in the shotgun. It's not quite a stretch for the trigger here, so <clears throat> they can still like put it in her hand. Just like that. covers that um she's a character i'm starting to think will probably fall over a lot um so let me scoot this stuff out of the way real quick and i'll show you because so i've got the uh t800 arnold that goes with us um and i've got more accessories but um you know, I usually just have them pose with a Gatling gun, so there's that. So, I have a look at him standing right now. There he goes. So, there's the uh, the trio now. And even looking at Arnold too, so let me do a close up of him. It's like the face is not quite right. Like almost too much wrinkles. I don't know. I remember the kind of feeling that way when I got him, but you know, I guess it's an old affair too. Um, 
overall, I'm really glad I got it. Found a pretty good price on it. Like, um, I think when it came out, it was like sixty or seventy dollars. I mean, it just shot up, and <clears throat> I think now it's going for like well over a hundred. So definitely didn't pay that. So, um, you know, Nick, it's just it's an odd thing for me, like, cause. They're kind of mostly famous for doing like movies and horror characters and stuff like that. And I like what they do, but like I always feel like they just do better with the turtles. Like I just feel like, you know, the movie figures are kind of like the next step from like the old McFarlane figures when he used to do movies and, you know, real life people like he used to do athletes too. Um, but I never feel like it's perfect, you know. Like I feel like if you want to go perfect, you need to go into like Mesco or... Hot toys or something like that. Obviously, that's substantially more money. Like, um, you know, God, hundreds of dollars for one figure. I don't know. But, um, overall, I like this. This way I kind of probably have it displayed. Um, I kind of feel like I need to do something with John, though. I just, I don't know. Well, there's nothing really for him to carry. Like, I don't know, maybe this? <laughs> I just, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of something for him to hang on to. And then I don't really work. It's more of like a, a scene or something like that. Um, but this thing he holds, but it's like, you have to kind of get the string in a different way. So maybe like that. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I think this is one like every time it's going to just kind of carry over my collection, just be kind of like a, you know, like a modest display. You know, it doesn't necessarily like to go through figures. You could put it up like in a living room as like you know a movie display or something. You know, but um, anyways, that is all I have. Um, oops, sorry. I had to give it a score. Um, probably about an eight and a half. Um. I don't think they've really did much more. I think this was kind of like, you know, like I said, it was a two year, came out two years ago. I know he came out probably three or four years ago, but I mean, I haven't seen anything new. This kind of makes me want to grab the uh, T1000 because I've seen it at Targets and Walmarts and stuff. Um, not really sure which one I'm gonna get, but you know, that would complete the collection. You know, when I was getting this, I was like, oh man, you know, this is awesome. And now I'm like, well, crap, I got to spend some more money to get the rest of it. So, <laughs> um, anyways, thanks for watching.